The Lord of Lords, let us worship him right now. Let's lift up our praises to the mighty God. Let's lift up our praise and our thanksgiving unto the Lord of hosts. He's Jehovah Jireh. He's Jehovah Nissi. Whatever you want him to be tonight, he can be to you. Mighty God of heaven, we exalt you. Thank you, Jesus. Without a doubt, we know that we have been revived. Hallelujah. Thank you, great God. And we are going to prayer just now. And as we approach the throne of grace, we have three prayer requests here. And first of all, we're going to pray for this service. That the Lord will continue to bless us as he has been doing throughout the week. That whatever doors that have not been opened in our hearts will be opened tonight. We just want him to have his way. We pray for this praise team. We pray for the technicians. We pray for the musicians. We pray for the word that will come forth tonight. That it will reach our hearts. And our hearts will be broken. Because the Bible said a broken and a contrite heart God will not despise. And as we go, we pray for the entire service, the unsaved in our midst. Hallelujah. Let's remember these prayer requests. It's a pray for Sister Janice's daughter who is having seizures. Pray, pray for Sister Stacy and Willoughby. Needs God, need God's help in completing her home. Pray for Sister Dorrit who is admitted in the hospital. Whatever her condition is, God knows. Prayer requests for online viewers. Having pinched nerve in her feet. Feeling terrible pain. So apparently this one is from our online viewer. The, this individual is having pinched nerve in her feet and we're going to pray. So let us cry out to the Lord right now as we make our requests known unto him. Hallelujah, mighty God. We thank you for tonight, God. We thank you for your mercies, God. We thank you for your grace. Tonight, God, you're a never-failing God. We look to you, God, who is the author and the finisher, God, of our faith. And that tonight, God, come the final night, God, of the feast. God, we just want to thank you, God, for manifesting yourself throughout the nights, God, from Sunday, God, right until now, and we give you thanks. Mighty God, we want to thank you for being in our presence. And tonight, as we come the final night, God, we come with our cups turned up, God. And we ask you, God, to fill us up one more time. God, let us empty ourselves before you so you can fill us up one more time. Mighty God of heaven, we pray for the praise team. We pray for the choir. We pray for those that will be ministering, God, in whatever area of the service tonight. We present, God, every aspect of it, God. Lord God, remember our online viewers. God, remember those in the sanctuary. God, remember those that are on their way right now. That, God, you will hasten their steps, God, so they will not miss one drop of your word. Mighty God, be with us. We ask you to remember the musicians, God. The technical team, mighty God, even the very instrument, God, that we are using, that you sanctify them tonight, God. Lord God, let your word go forth tonight, God. Let it go forth with power, God, and with authority, and that God's souls will be lifted, God's souls will be strengthened. Mighty God, have your way tonight. God, we exalt you, God. We put before you Janice, Sister Janice, God. Who God is having seizure. God remember and Marie will be God. God I need complete help God in finishing her house. God you are the provider. And we ask you God to step right in. God we pray for sister Dorit God. Who is admitted in the hospital. Mighty God you are our healer. You are our doctor mighty God. And we look to you for healing tonight on behalf of our sister. God, remember the online viewer right now, God. 
who, Lord God, is having pinched nerves, problem, God, in her feet. We pray, God, that you will, God, just touch her, God, because you are the bomb in Gilead, mighty God. You are the healer. You are the deliverer. God, have your way. Mighty God, let your will be done. God, we give you thanks, God, and we bless your name. God, take full control tonight as we give you thanks because you are God and you are king and you reign, mighty God, forever and ever. God, have your own sweet way. God, let your perfect will be done. God, we give you thanks right now and we bless your holy name. God, we thank you. We lift you up. You are our shepherd. God, you are our keeper, mighty God, and we give you the glory. Take full control tonight, God, as we say thanks in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And let the church say in Jesus' name. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. We thank you. Let's lift our hands tonight and worship the King of Kings. Let's lift our hands tonight and give him a wave offering. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, great God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, great God. In the name of Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Let me hear the church praise the Lord. Let me hear the church praise the Lord. Let me hear you praise the Lord one more time. Praise God. Let's turn our Bibles to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. First Thessalonians chapter 5, and we'll read from verse 14 through to verse 23. Praise God, praise God, and we'll read alternately. Hallelujah, shall we stand for the reading of the word? Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. If you find it, let me hear you praise the Lord. If you find it, let me hear you praise his name. Praise God, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. We'll read alternately. I'll begin. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men. First Thessalonians chapter 5, 20, 14 through to 23. Sorry, 14 through to 23. And I'll begin again. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly. Comfort the feeble-minded. Support the weak. Be patient toward all men. Rejoice evermore. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Despise not prophesying. Abstain from all appearance of evil. And let's read verse 21 through to 23 together again. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. Abstain from all appearance of evil. And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body pre be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Here in the, the reading of God's holy word. Praise God. If you have your Pentecostal hymnals, let's turn to hymn 74. Hallelujah, Jesus. It was at the cross, hallelujah, where we first saw the light and we made a decision to serve the Lord. We have made a decision, let's continue serving him 
and hold on to Almighty God. Hallelujah. Some writer before that said, Hold fast till I come. Hear the word of the master. The old men increase. The signs thicken faster until I restore your lost Eden home. Give heed to the message. Hold fast till I come. Hymn 74, let's sing at the cross. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me hear you praise the Lord in the meantime. Let me hear you praise the Lord. Let me hear you call him by his name. Let me hear you call him by his name. Praise God. Praise God.
your tired shout hallelujah but that does not mean you must give God a tired hallelujah you know? you're tired but don't give a tired hallelujah come on somebody shout hallelujah hallelujah for he is good for he is good hallelujah hallelujah just lift those hands just give the Lord something special right now hallelujah hallelujah we give you glory we give you honor hallelujah we give you praise right now Jesus we lift you up Ah, we exalt you, Jesus, for you alone art worthy. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Just with the person, I know you're tired, but look here, I'm, I'm extremely tired. But I made up my mind before I came in the house tonight that tonight is just the last night of this convocation. And I'm just going to give God everything. And then I go home. And get a rest and tomorrow a rest tomorrow amen somebody amen somebody come on amen somebody amen 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 so let's turn to the person next to you and greet him you know you've been standing for a while but you agree with me that you're going to just give everything tonight amen amen we just want to welcome each and every one of us tonight to our convocation 2023 under the team hold the fort Jesus is coming. Amen. Turn to the person next to you. Tell him, hold the fort. Yes, Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Hallelujah. Touch yourself. Touch yourself. Say, self, hold the fort. Yeah, hold the fort. Yes, Jesus is coming. The song says, I've been on this journey a long time, but I'm not tired yet. Are you pressing your way? 
Somebody else said this is definitely it. Come on, give the Lord a clap of it, somebody. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus, you've been standing for a while. Oh, you, you can sing one more. We can sing one more. The song said there is going to be a meeting in the air. Let us sing that one and then you can be seated. I will ask Bishop to come and do it. But there's going to be a meeting.
seated at this time. Amen, 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 amen. Just lift those hands one more time. You know, I feel like just giving God something extra special, but I wonder if I can do it. But what I feel like to give, I'm limited. I don't think I can do it. Oh, God. But is a God good? Is a God good somebody? Come on, tell somebody beside you. Tell your neighbor. Neighbor, I serve a good God. I serve a wonderful God. Woo! I serve an awesome God. But it's a super calorie fiali is fiali doshos. Woo! Hallelujah! When I think of the goodness, anybody want to finish it? When I think of the goodness and all that he has done for me. Pastor Murray to come. He's gonna greet this household of faith. In the meantime, Brother Des, from last night, I feel it in my spirit. You're gonna put on those cameras and you're gonna give us five minutes of worship. You're gonna lead us in five minutes of worship. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's just lift our hands and magnify our God. Hallelujah. His name is Jesus. Hallelujah, we serve a great, big, wonderful God. Hallelujah, if you don't know that he's big tonight, hallelujah, the God that we serve is bigger more than everything. Hallelujah, that we can ever think. Hallelujah, 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 I greet the presence of God in this place. Hallelujah. 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 I greet Bishop Daly and Sister Daly in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I greet Bishop McHugh, Bishop McGregor and all the ministers. Hallelujah. I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I greet the saints. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, every saints, hallelujah, faith chapel, faith majestic temple, faith deliverance assembly, hallelujah, those who are watching, hallelujah, online, I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, but most of all, hallelujah, I want to greet the visitors, and I will ask all the visitors to stand at this time. First time visitor, second, third, stand. And if you are a visitor from, you know, like precious feet, stand. If you are a visitor, hallelujah, from Seventh-day Adventist, Catholic, wherever you are, stand tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe something great got to happen tonight. Because the power of God is here. The Holy Ghost is here. Hallelujah. Somebody want to clap their hand unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 And to our visitors, I want to thank you for coming out. Hallelujah. To National Convention. Hallelujah, we are having a great time here. And tonight, hallelujah, hallelujah, Some, someone will be changed. Hallelujah, someone will be refreshing. Hallelujah, someone will energize tonight. Hallelujah, because Jesus is here. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. 
And I want the visitor to stand one more time because we will go around. Hallelujah. And greet. Hallelujah. One another. Spread some love in this place. Hallelujah. Because Jesus is love. Hallelujah. Singers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody stand at this time. Hallelujah. We just got to spread some love in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm feeling very happy. Talking about the good old way. I'm feeling very happy. Talking about the Lord.
Come on, somebody, give God a praise. Somebody, give God a praise. Oh, I feel good. I feel good. Let the church say yes. Let the church say yes. Oh, clap your hands unto the Lord. All the men sit down. Hallelujah. All the men sit down. I have a short time to do this. But I know I got some. You know back in the days when we used to say some thunder mamas in the house. When I say one, two, I want you to give God a praise like you've never given it something like that before. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. All the women sit down. For the Bible said, young men, I call on you because you're strong. All the men stand up. Come on. I remember back in high school when we're singing the national anthem. And there's a little section the men used to come in with the roaring sound of voice. Hallelujah. But this is not the national anthem right now. This is a praise that we're going to give God from our hearts. So when I say one, two, I want all the men in the house to roar a praise unto God. One, two. Men. One, two. One, two. Everybody stand right now. Everybody stand. Somebody said seven times without a shout around Jericho walls. But I believe somebody has some Jericho walls that they want to take down right now. So I want to grab a hold of somebody's hand. Hold somebody's hand right now. So on this shout, when you shout, you're going to tear down that wall. This is the last night of the feast. And I feel a praise in my... One, two... One, two. And one last shout. Let go that person's hand right now. With everything that you've got on the inside. Musicians, even when they stop praising you, just keep on giving God praise on the instrument. One, two. Amen, amen, amen. Just before you're seated, just greet somebody again. Greet somebody again, amen. Then you may be seated. Amen. Hold it, musician. You're, you're pushing me, the musician. You're pushing me. Hold it. Amen. We want to ask Bishop to come. And he's going to, in a short period of time, <laughs> greet the household of faith and greet the ministers. Amen.
Amen. And can we praise the Lord, everybody? Come on, we praise the Lord, everybody. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, praise the Lord. Put your hands together and celebrate Jesus with a clap offering right now. He is worthy. Amen, 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 amen. I was trying to not say a word, another word, amen, for the remainder of the conference. Uh, not even on Sunday. You know, they have invited us to come down to uh, Bethel, Stony Hills, amen, to be with them Sunday and Monday. But Sunday, we can't go because we are going to be here. So what we have done, Elder Martin will go Sunday alone to minister alone. We, we can spare one saint. Amen, amen, amen. Christian, you can go with him on Sunday. Praise, I want probably two, Christian and, but, but that's for Sunday because we're going to finish convocation in the house Sunday morning. Can we praise the Lord? Can we praise the Lord? And then on Monday, I will go down to Bishop Brown and the church would have been resting, but you think you're going to rest and I'm not resting. I'm going to preach and you're going to come on Monday and we'll get a bus for you. No bus for Elder Martin, but we'll have a bus for you for Monday. And then you can start resting on Tuesday. Come on, we praise the Lord, everybody. So I was trying not to say anything because I strain my voice one of these days. I don't know how I strain my voice. Amen. I don't even have a voice to strain, but it was strained. But I'm happy to be in the house tonight. Amen. To magnify the Lord and to lift him up with the saints, with the people of God. And I join with Pastor Murray to welcome all of us. Amen. To the last night of the feast. And God has been good to us over these many days. What a good God. If your soul has been revived, won't you shout a praise to the great God of heaven. Oh, praise God, praise God, praise God. And he's not finished with us yet because we have the rest of the evening to go. And then I'll go tonight is the official last evening of the feast. We're going to carry some things over. There will be a spillover on Sunday morning and won't we have a time. But it's really good to see you all, to greet all of you in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Those on the World Wide Web, receive greetings in Jesus' name. I'm not sure if my eyes were playing tricks on me, but is that Sister Gaynor that we're seeing there? My God, Sister Gaynor is one of the old saints that have been with us. From, when I say old, you know, I mean from way back. I'm, I'm not Sister Gaynor is one of the young persons that have been coming from way back. And it's good to see you, Sister Gaynor. God richly bless you. Amen. In the wonderful, wonderful, wonderful name of the Lord. Um, can I ask Pastor O'Clockin to come? But just before she comes, to sing. Oh, no. Hold on, Sister Mac. Pastor McClockin. I am going to ask Bishop McHugh, just to leave one quick word. He has been one of our ministers, and we know we have seen him, and he has been here right throughout convocation. My God, we are blessed, and I want to ask him to come. I know we have heard already from Pastor Smith. We have heard from Bishop McGregor. We greet them in the wonderful name of the Lord. Amen. We, we have heard the message from Bishop McHugh, but we just want to hear a greeting from him. And I invite him to come right now and leave a greeting on behalf of all the visiting ministers that are here in Jesus' name. Thank you, Pastor. Hallelujah. Let's praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. The Lord is good and his mercies are everlasting. And I'm so glad that his truth reaches me. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Let me take the opportunity to greet you tonight in the wonderful name of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Indeed, God has been good 
and is good. And I just want to give him glory. What a time we have in convocation this year. Amen. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that the Lord has afforded me the opportunity to be a part of the first one. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm so glad. Amen. And I want to greet, amen, my brother. Amen. Praise God. Bishop Garfield Daly. Amen. And his precious wife in the wonderful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Special greetings to Pastor Graham. Is Graham, right? What? The, Pastor Murray, where did I get Graham from? Pastor and Sister Murray, amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. I just want you to know that we appreciate you and, and I'll be praying for you, amen. And I'm going to be your friend, amen. Praise God to support you in ministry. Hallelujah. God is good. I'm excited when young man, the Bible said it's a good thing. Amen. For us to bear the yoke in our youth. And I'm excited about what the Lord is going to do. Amen. Over there at Majestic. Amen. To my dear friend, um, uh, Dr. Amen. Lynx Brian. <laughs> Amen. We, we, we are we're certainly a good friend. And I'm so glad that I'm here to support him in ministry. Bishop McGregor. We were at his church um, on Wednesday during the day, and what the God just show up. Amen. You know, God have a way to just relieve your burden. Amen. Praise God to lift you above. Amen. The clouds. Amen. And I'm so glad. Amen. For what the Lord is doing in his life. To, amen, Pastor Kenry and to Pastor Judith. McLaughlin from the Highway Truth Prayer Sanctuary Ministries. God bless you. Amen. I'm delighted to be here. Amen. And, and tonight is the last night of the feast. Amen. Let us prepare. Amen. To give our best. Amen. So that God will give to us his best. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Don't hold back. Amen. Give it all. Amen. And let God have his way to all our ministers, choir, everybody. God bless you in Jesus. Amen. Oh, can we praise the Lord, everybody? Can we praise the Lord, everybody? I asked Pastor McLaughlin to sing. We'll have her to sing during the collection of the offering. But I'm going to ask Pastor McLaughlin, which is her husband, to come and to greet this congregation in Jesus' name. And I also want us to know that we have in our midst, come, Pastor. We have in our midst from the All Saints Apostolic Church, uh, Evangelist Dr. Puse Murray. And she is the daughter of Bishop Puse, amen, the Bishop of the All Saints Apostolic Church out here in Jamaica. Can we put our hands together for her also? Amen. And where is Dr. Puse Murray? Praise God. Praise God. I hope you're... My God. And so we are going to ask you to come across and give us a greeting this evening in the wonderful name of Jesus. Let me ask Pastor McCracken to greet this church in Jesus' name. God is good. All the time. Can somebody just lift those hands and give God a shout? Come on. Hallelujah. If you're happy to be here, just give God a shout. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody another time. Hallelujah. Praise God. I just want to greet you all in the most mighty name of Jesus. Praise God. Happy to be in this praise God convocation. Hallelujah. Praise God. It's the first year I am being here. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'm being here from Tuesday night. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I, and I must come back. Hallelujah. Can somebody praise the Lord? Can somebody shout hallelujah? Praise God, hallelujah. I see a, a lot of friends. Praise God, hallelujah. But I'm giving God the glory. Praise God, hallelujah. I love the team. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, you know, and, and 
saints of the most high God. It no matter what type of pressure you are on, praise God, hold the fort. You hear what I said? Hold the fort. All the gold that glisten, hold the fort. Can somebody praise the Lord? Praise God. Hallelujah. It take, it take a, a, a long time to go up, you know. But it don't take nothing to come down. Hallelujah. But I want to encourage you tonight. Praise God. Hold the fort. Praise God. What's want to greet? Praise God. Hallelujah. Pastor Bishop Matthew. Praise God. Hallelujah. My beautiful wife. Praise God. Hallelujah. To all the saints. Continue to hold the fort. And to wait upon the Lord. And to be of good courage. And he shall, shall strengthen thine heart. God bless you. Praise God. Praise God. Evangelist Murray. She, oh, praise God. Praise God. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord again, everybody. We serve a great, big, wonderful God who is always victorious and he's always watching over us. First, I must greet Bishop Daly, all ministers, choristers, brethren, friends in the mighty name of Jesus. Please accept greetings from our pastor, Suffolk and Bishop Howell Pusey, and his wife, Evangelist Pusey, and the All Saints Church family. God is good, and we're just here to worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me invite the ushers to come. As you would have heard during the collecting of the orphan, Pastor McGregor, McCoffin, sorry, will minister for us in song. Amen. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace. As we're about to collect the offering, mighty God, I pray, Lord Jesus, that you use it for the furtherance of your kingdom. I pray, Lord Jesus, the persons who don't have, that you will provide jobs for them, mighty God, that they can give. In Jesus' name, amen. Shall we praise the Lord, everyone? Oh, glory be to God. Shall we praise the Lord? Hallelujah. Shall we praise the Lord? Oh, glory be to God. If God has been good to you, hallelujah. Come on, help me praise him tonight. Hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, glory be to God. Let me just take the time out to greet. Praise God. Hallelujah. The host pastor, praise God. Amen. Praise God. Bishop uh, praise God daily and his wonderful wife. Praise Jesus in the name of Jesus. Amen. I know I, you know, praise God, begin to fall in love with these people. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. They are, isn't they, they are wonderful, don't they? Come on, put your hands together for your bishops. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want to greet my bishop. Praise God. Bishop Ray McHugh. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Put your hands together. Amen. Praise God. I just want to greet everyone tonight. All protocol observed tonight. Praise God. Special greetings to my husband, Pastor Kendrick McClucking. Amen. And you wonderful saints in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm feeling so good to be over on this side. Amen. Come Come on, help me praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Just worship with me in the name of Jesus. This song, praise God, is not a new song. It's something that is a song that you know. Amen. But it's my testimony tonight. Hallelujah. I just want to bless the name of the Lord tonight. Amen. Praise God. When we praise the Lord, we put on our apparel of praise tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. Come here. Praise God. Because praise open the doors. Because praise do marvelous things for us. Shall we praise the Lord? Hallelujah. I don't know what you do, but I know praise work for me. Hallelujah. Shall we praise the name of the Lord? When I'm down, praise work for me. When I don't have no money, praise work for me. Oh God, hallelujah. When I want to confuse the enemy, praise work for me. Shall we praise the Lord? Are you ready? You're going to help me tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. 
I love you, Lord. Hallelujah. For your mercy never fails me, Lord. Hallelujah. All my days I've been held in your hands. Oh, from the moment that I wake, hallelujah, until I lay my head, I will sing of the goodness of God. I love your voice. Come on. Hallelujah. Oh, for you led me through the fire. Hallelujah. Through the darkest night. Like no other. Hallelujah. I know you are the
just want to be with you. Is there somebody want Jesus tonight? King of glory, fill this place. I just want to be with you. Hey, come on now. I just want to be with you. Come on, I want to call the King of glory. I say, King. Shadow, you wanna light up, mountain you wanna climb up, coming up. 
to me. Somebody say tonight, uh, no walls you want, all eyes you want, tear down, come in to me. Come on, oh, oh, no shadow you want, hey, mountain, oh, come in up, it's coming up to me. Carl Brown and Sister Brown, Reverend Carl Brown and Sister Brown, you wanted us to stand and shout a praise. Amen. From, they are from Glory Carriers Ministry. Sister Brown? Okay. All right. Amen. Amen. God bless you, sir. It's good to have you. Amen. Put your hands together for Sister Brown. Amen. Amen. At this time, we will ask the Faith Apostolic Ministry, National Choir to come and minister before the preacher comes. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Could we just give God some praise? Hallelujah. For he is good. For he is good. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to worship with us. Hallelujah. Long ago the measure water in the evening time they say One day Isaac sent his servants to stop Rebecca on her way My master sent me here to tell you See this who was rich and rare Would this not of his lovely bride in the country. 
is the path that God and Christ are one. It shall be light, but to glory you will surely find is through the waterway. Young and old, and the Holy Ghost will enter Gonna serve the Lord for the rest of your life. All right, sing the song with us. All right, put your hands together. Where we're around. 
something. Our theme says, hold the fort, Jesus is coming. And if you're going to hold the fort, you're going to have to serve, right? So I want everybody to say with us, I'll serve the Lord, all right? One, two, three, I'll serve the Lord. I'll serve the Lord. church to stand at this time. Amen. For the rest of my life. Oh, hallelujah. For the rest of our lives, we are going to serve the Lord. Can we make that commitment tonight? For the rest of my life. Oh, lift your right hands and look to heaven and make that vow right now. For the rest of my life, I will serve you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, bless the Lord. We thank you. We thank you. You're too good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Oh, I will bless the Lord at all times. I'll bless him. I'll bless him. I'll bless him. I'll bless him. Great God. Great God. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless your name. We bless your name. It comes time again, amen, for the word of the Lord to be delivered to the people of God. And we thank God for how he has dealt with us since Sunday morning. And we thank him for ministering to us in the way that he has over these past few days. We, can't, we went on up to last night and a, a word we received from the Lord, a word that refreshed and revived, and we thank God for what he has done up to last night. But tonight is a different night, and we gave him fresh worship, and we anticipate a fresh word. A word from heaven for the people of God. I just want to acknowledge the presence of, amen, Elder Christopher Collins and his family. We saw them coming in late, but they came in. And we thank God for them. Amen. And we thank you for visiting with us tonight. Brothers and sisters, visitors in the house tonight, it is my pleasure at this time to invite to this podium to minister a word to the people of God. Let us welcome to this pulpit in the faith apostolic ministry's way the preacher for the moment, Elder Lincoln Bryan, in the name of the Lord. Can we receive him? Amen, amen, amen. In Jesus' name.
Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Okay, let me try it one more time. Praise ye the Lord. 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 We glorify him. We call him by his name. We call him by his name. What's his name? Shout the name that the power is in. The name that the devil tremble by. The name that heaven recognize. Shout the name. Shout the name. What's his name? We praise he the name of our God. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. Pick me up. Pick me up. No turning back. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided. I don't hear the church. To follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. I can't hear the church. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. Come on, push up your praise. Push up your praise, push up your praise. No turning back. No turning back. No turning back. My Jesus saved me. Come on, sing like you're happy. My Jesus saved me. And now I'm happy. My Jesus saved me. And now I'm happy. No turning back. No turning back. No turning back. So you can have the whole world. God keep me. I can't hear the church. You can have the whole world. God give me Jesus. Yes, sir. You can have the whole world. God give me Jesus. No turning back. You got to look at your neighbor for this part now and say, The cross before me. The world behind me. Talk to the man. The cross before me. The world behind me, the cross before me, the world behind me. Oh, I made up my mind. The cross before me, the world behind me, the world behind me, the world behind me, the cross before me, the world behind me. No turning back, no turning. Push up your praise, push up your praise. Open up your mouth and give him a praise. Come on, elevate your praise. Push up your praise. Let me hear your praise in faith chapel. Let me hear your praise in faith chapel. Let me hear your praise him. Let me hear your praise him in the mansion. Let me hear your praise him. Let me hear your praise him. Praise him. Let me hear your praise him. Praise him, sire. Praise him, faith chapel. Praise him, faith chapel. Glory, glory. Praise him. Look at your neighbor for the first time and say, neighbor, it's Friday night. And we're here to worship him. Come and ask them, tell me the truth. Do you have work in the morning? Ask them, do you have work? Do you have work? They're going to tell you no. They're going to tell you no. Say, neighbor, if you don't have work tomorrow morning, we're going to really praise him tonight. Come on, tell him if your shoe's too tight, if your heel too high, take them off because we're going to have church. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Push up your praise. Let me hear you praise him. 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 Let me hear you. Let me hear you. 
Some of you on a Friday night you will be in the asylum nightclub. Some of you will be in a street dance. But look what Jesus did when you wash me. Lord, you're going to play with me here. Look what Jesus did. Come on, push up your praise. 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 Give him a praise. Yes, shut up. He got to run and say, Glory, 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 glory. Glory. Look at your neighbor and testify to them. I say, neighbor, he brought me out of the miry clay. Come on, somebody have to tell. He brought me out of the dance hall. He brought me out of the club. He brought me out of the bed of fornication. Come on, testify to your neighbor. He brought me out of another woman's bed. Lord of mercy. Oh, Lord, I wish I was in the right church. Come on, you better help me praise him. You better help me praise him. Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. I came to praise him. Look at the sanctified folks feeling funny. My God. Look what Jesus did. Testify to your neighbor. I'm giving you 30 seconds. Tell your neighbor what God have done for you. Tell him why you're here tonight. 30 your neighbor. 30 seconds. Testify to them. Tell them. Brag about your God. 30 seconds. Brag about your God. Come on, have a flashback and tell your neighbor where you're coming from. Have a flashback and tell them. Mm -hmm. He brought me out. All right. Come on, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, he brought me out. All right. Say, neighbor, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for me, my soul cries out. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, thank God for saving me. Come on, tell your neighbor, neighbor, I was wrapped up and tied up in sin. I was stung up in a mess. But he brought me out, all right. Come on, say, neighbor, you don't look like what you've been through. You ought to testify to them. Say, neighbor, you don't look like what you've been through. For he brought you out, all right. If that's you, shout glory. Shout glory. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He brought me out all right. He brought me out all right. Praise ye the name of our God. Praise ye the name of the Lord. I'm just checking if you're here with me. Amen. And I feel the weight of the church. Praise the Lord. Let's go to the word. Let's go to the book of Titus chapter number two. It's the last night. Amen. And we're here just to have church. While you're looking for it, let me honor God for this man of God, Bishop Daly, and for First Lady Daly, amen, and certainly to Bishop McHugh, amen, hallelujah to God, and to Bishop Jeremy McGregor, amen, Reverend Carl Brown, my friend and brother, amen, good to see you. To all the pastors and bishops and visiting ministers and friends and well-wishers of the gospel, we greet you in no other name but the name that heaven recognized, and that he is the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. My family is here. My aunt and my cousin is here worshiping with me. My wife is online. Amen. Brother and sister James, we greet you. Amen. Evangelist Dunbar just showed something. Showed something again, Evangelist Dunbar. Glory be to God. Amen. Representing Bethel, Stony Hill. Amen. And to all those, amen, that come along with her, we salute you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. To all my friends, amen, please accept holy greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. To the ushers and musicians. And sometimes we don't give our ushers enough credit. Amen. But we salute the Lord for our ushers. Come on, somebody give the Lord a praise. Amen. Praise the Lord. And to our musicians and to everyone that work along. Amen. With them, we greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. My mentee, praise the Lord. And before I leave here, amen, I see some young men that I'll be taking under my wings and just mentoring them. Young men that love God. Amen. Praise the name of the... I don't hear anybody. Bishop, the reason why young men turn gunman is because they don't mentor them. And show them a way to turn Gurma. So we have young men that we want to mentor and show them the way of the Lord. Amen. 
Praise the Lord. And so I salute the Lord for the young men that are in faith chapel. Not much church you go and see young men that really love the Lord. You hardly see young men. And so we want to celebrate the young men in this church and the young women in this house. Come on, somebody give the Lord a praise for them. Amen. And we certainly honor God for them. Amen. And to all you, my father's children, I greet you in the powerful name of Jesus Christ. Everybody that is visiting, please accept holy greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Elder Donovan Brown Bishop asked me to greet you. Amen. He sent greetings from Canada. Praise ye the name of the Lord. And please accept greetings on behalf of my darling wife. Amen. Praise ye the name of the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for all that you have done. She's watching online. Amen. And so I salute you, honey. Praise the name of the Lord. I like to brag about my wife. You know, take to next year, next month is 12 years. Amen. Today is 11 years and 11 months. Look at God. God is good to me. Good to me. Amen. Praise ye the name of the Lord. And so we thank the Lord. Amen. For everyone. If you're at the book of Titus, won't you say amen? amen? Praise the Lord. It's not a very popular book, amen, that everybody run to or that you hear very often. But amen, I'm seeking the Lord and the Lord will send me this direction in this final night, the conclusion of your holy convention. Amen. Praise the Lord. To talk to the church from this book. Amen. Titus chapter number 2, we'll be looking at verse 11 to verse number 13. And I hope somebody down there is praying for me. The Bible simply says, for, are you there? Are you, do you have the word? Do you have the, did you brought your word with you? Amen. You have your word? Say word. word. Amen. Verse number chapter, Titus 2, verse number 11. And it says, for the grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared to all men. Verse 12, you read. Uh-huh. Yes. Verse 13 says, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Father, your word has already been blessed. We pray that you speak to our heart. Bring deliverance. Bring the break captive. Free tonight by the power of the Holy Ghost. Fill somebody with your power. Let a backslider reclaim. Let someone request water baptism tonight. Use us for your glory. Sit upon me now. Sanctify me afresh, Lord. Bind, oh God, every spirit of this that will try to stop the word from going forward. We shut down every word curse. We shut down the strong man over this area. We bind, we cramp, we paralyze every plot of hell. We push back against the force of darkness. Every plans, every machination, every scheme, every witches, every warlord, every wizard. We mash it up, God. We behead them and we destroy it. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Let your will be done Lord. And let glory be added to your name. Somebody who love him just shout in Jesus name. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Can I just provoke you tonight? Amen. Some of you have been sitting in the same seat all week long. Can I just provoke you to just touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, switch seat with me. Let me just make a switch. Let me make a switch. You've been sitting in the same spot all week long. Come on, come on, be obedient. Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, switch seat with me. I just need to make a switch. Just say, neighbor, make a switch with me. Some of you don't move yet. You don't move yet. Switch your seat with your neighbor. Some of you just so stop. Direction. Make a switch, make a switch, make a switch, just make a switch. Amen. Praise ye the name of the Lord. Just make a switch, make a switch tonight. Yes, make a switch. Praise ye the name of the Lord. You're sitting in the same place. Amen. All week long, just make a switch. Hallelujah to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. I want to talk to you tonight on this topic. Praise the name of the Lord. And will you help me just to announce this topic? Amen. Look at your neighbor real good and just say, neighbor, my good neighbor, go forward in the anointing for heaven is in view. Come on. Do they get it? Do they get it? Go forward in the anointing because heaven is in view. If you receive that, clap your hands and give the Lord a praise. Come on, a thunderous applaud. Clap your hands. Amen. And give the Lord a praise. Praise ye the name of the Lord. 
Children of the living God, in this final night, in this final installation of this holy convention, amen, the Lord will have me to go this way and to speak to you concerning, amen, heaven being in view. We are dealing with the topic, amen, holding the fort, and amen, I want to challenge the believer in this last night, amen, glory be to God, that while we are holding to the fort, amen, praise the Lord, it's imperative that we keep it moving. Amen. While we're holding on to the fort, while we're holding on to the things of God, while we're holding on to that which remain, it is important that we keep it moving. Amen. And we're not just going to move by ourselves, but we are going to move in the anointing of God, knowing that heaven is in view. Amen. We don't talk about heaven much, but heaven is in view. Children of living God, when you look at the book of Titus, amen, the text that is before us, and I hope you don't mind, I'm going to work some work tonight, and then we're going to shout. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. The book of Titus that is before us is written by a man by the name of Paul. Amen. Glory be to God, and I know that I'm in a word church, so let me preach some word. Amen. Paul was born out of due season. Amen. Glory be to God. The God called him. He was called by God. Amen. Glory be to God. Bishop, he wasn't of the rich of among the original apostles, but God called him as an apostle to the Gentile. Amen. Glory be to God. It is God that who have chosen him. He was a man, but God have elected him. Amen. And elevated him to the office and apostle. Amen. Paul received so much revelation from God. Amen. That the devil himself know who he was. Amen. It is Paul. When you study the Bible, that Paul have received the most revelation from everybody else else in the text in the entire Bible but still and yet Paul questioned amen who God really is amen so much revelation but still could not understand him he it blows his mind about the sovereignty of our God that he asked the question who can understand the mind of God in paraphrasing and to whom amen does he take counsel because his ways are past finding out and every time amen glory be to God you believe that you know God so much and you have a monopoly on him God open up himself and extend himself some more. Amen. There's an old addict that said God is so wide that I can't go around him. He's so high that I can't go above him and yet so low that I can't go under him. Amen. This is a sovereignty of the God that we serve. Amen. Because he is God all by himself and he don't need no help to be God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Glory be to God. Children of the living God, I want you to understand that when Satan, the arch enemy, the prince of the power of darkness, when Satan leave hell and come after you, it has nothing, amen, to do with your good looks. Mm -hmm. When Satan is after you, it has nothing to do, amen, with your credential. has nothing to do with your special ability or your talent, amen, glory be to God. But it is because you are a force to be reckoned with that the enemy is trying to sleep you out and he wants to kill you so bad. Amen, glory be to God. There are times, and I want you to understand that every time you get up out of your house, out of your bed, and you dress up and you decide you're coming into the house of the Lord, what you are saying to the enemy is that I am raging war against your kingdom. Amen. Glory be to God. And so you cannot come in the house of the Lord and fold your arms, look cute, don't say anything. Amen. Glory be to God because the devil is going to put you under pressure. And some of you are terrified. You said I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to close my mouth because the devil is going to put me under pressure. But can I tell you that whether or not you open up your mouth and say something the devil is still going to put you under pressure. So might as well when I have some people with me that can strengthen me. Let me put the devil under pressure and let Jesus higher. Do I have a worshiper in here? Glory be to God that we said I refuse to be quiet. I refuse to be silent because the devil is like a rapist. When they molest you they tell you don't tell anybody. Keep it quiet. That's what the devil is trying to isolate you by yourself and lock you up but I refuse to be quiet. I refuse to be silent. I will forever worship him. Do I have a praiser in the house? Glory be to God. Hear me, let me work in a little while. Children of the living God, the apostle Paul studied at the feet of Gamaliel. Amen. Glory be to God. He was had one of the greatest minds in the time of Judaism. And Paul sat in the Sahijim council and his duty was to make sure that the law was kept. Mm -hmm. Yes, he was. At that time, his name was Saul. And children of the living God, it was Saul. Amen. Then who have acquired salmon to shut down the church of the living God. He, he was trying to persecute the church. 
church. He was trying to put the church under serious pressure. He wanted to waste the church of the living God, but yet God called him as an apostle to the Gentile. Amen. Glory be to God, children of the living God. The apostle Paul, amen, was one who the Lord have called for a special purpose. Somebody say special purpose. Mm -hmm. And it never ceased to amaze me how God, uh, amen, will raise up a special set of people for a special purpose. Amen. Glory be to God. Yes, God will raise up special people, amen, with a divine mandate and a divine purpose and plan on their life uh, to fulfill the assignment of God. Reverend Andrew, what I love about God, man of God, is that when he get ready to bless me, he don't have to call the board meeting. When God get ready to put his hands on me, he don't have to ask nobody permission can I talk about my God here tonight mm -hmm. because you got some people in church who feel like they have a monopoly, a monopoly on God hallelujah God they feel like they can qualify who should God should place and who must not be placed but I'm so glad that when God get ready to put his hands on me amen glory be to God you don't have to ask man permission and when God put his hands on me nobody can take it off for who God bless Lord, can I preach in the church? You better be ready for me tonight because I came here to preach. Glory be to God. I find the neighbor, say, neighbor, God put it on me and nobody can take it off me. Come on, you better talk to your neighbor. Say, neighbor, God put his hands on me and no devil can take his hands off my life. Glory be to God, children of God. When God get ready to use you, amen, God don't have to ask permission. He just do what he want to because he is God all by himself. Bishop, this is very clear that God don't call the qualified, but God qualified the call. Amen. That when God call you, you may not be the brightest. You may not have no degree. Amen. Glory to God. You may not come from no good family. Glory to God. But I'm so glad that the call of God is not dependent on who my mama is. The call of God is not dependent on my last name. You don't care if I live in Beverly Hills or in Shooters Hill. Can I talk to the church in here? When God call you. He don't look at your background or your genealogy. God look at your availability. And when he call you, he will qualify you. And when God qualify you, no man can disqualify you. Can I talk in the Lord's church? Look at your name. I said, God qualify me already. You can't disqualify me again. Hey, shut up. He cut up my whole side. Holy, 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 holy. He cut a side. Because you got some people in church, Lady Dunbar, that want to categorize God people. Because you have a good job and you drive a Lexus. You have a big house, you over here. And the poor ones over here. But there are some people that God hand is on. They don't have no degree. They can't read well, they didn't go to no college or university, but the hand of God. Oh, he got a whole I might be a Pasali church. The hand of God is on their life. You're not talking to the church here. You got some people in here, Bishop. They don't have no big job. But when demons see them, demon got to back up because they have a demon chasing anointing. Cannot preach in the Lord's church. He got a soul. Ask your neighbor, are you the one? Ask your neighbor, are you the one? Are you the one? Are you the one? I'll you find your neighbor and give the Lord a praise. Clap your hands and tell him thank you. Glory be to God. Mm -hmm. Children of the living God, Apostle Paul, amen. I'm taking my time. Amen, Apostle Paul here. Yes, Reverend Andrew, Apostle Paul wrote over 13 general epistles. Glory be to God, he wrote eight general epistles divided into four groups. Yes, he did. He wrote, amen, group one, which we call the early epistle. Mm -hmm. to all the Bible scholars and the theologians. Uh, he wrote Galatians and 1st and 2nd Thessalonians. He wrote, amen, group two, the major epistles. Uh, we deal with 1st and 2nd Corinthians and Romans. Uh, he wrote group three, the prison epistle. And he wrote Colossians, Ephesians, Romans, uh, Philemon and Hebrews. And many scholars, amen, question that, but we're not going in that tonight. Uh, amen, glory be to God. Paul, Paul was writing this bishop from his prison cell in Rome when he wrote the epistle because the enemy think that even though he was incarcerated the word of God will be bound but you can't stop the word from going forward cannot talk in the Lord's church 
you can't stop God's word from going forward. He wrote group 4, amen, which is the pastoral epistle that we're dealing with tonight, which is First and Second Timothy and the book of Titus. Children of God, he was writing, amen. Ah, glory be to God, they stick talking to Titus because he write the different epistles because, amen, he was writing epistles to Ephesus and he write the different, amen, other letters because they had some problem dealing with and controversy in Corinthian and in Galatian and stuff. Reverend Andrew will take you, teach you all about that. Amen. We're not going down there tonight. Glory be to God. But in the text that is before us, children of the living God, amen, glory be to God. The apostle Paul was dealing with the church in Crete. Amen. In one of his writings, which is known as the masterpiece of pastoral theology. He was writing to the church because Paul was writing, amen, to his son Titus, rather. He was writing to him who was in Greek at the time. Mm -hmm. Glory be to God. And he was converted. Somebody say converted. Mm -hmm. And after his converting, children of God, Titus, and amen, labored with Paul to spread the gospel, and amen, to organize the church, and he later became Paul's missionary companion while Paul was traveling, and Paul entrusted Timothy to take, uh, amen, Corinth, and Paul's first epistle, uh, amen, to the saints living there, and children of the living God, I want you to understand here that Paul wrote to Timothy to strengthen him in his assignment, uh, to lead and to care for the branch churches that was in Crete at the time despite the opposition because they were dealing with some stuff going on. Can I preach some word here? Is that all right? Amen. Glory be to God. And the people in Crete here, amen, was known for their duplicity and their greed. And the city was notorious for being unsafe. And it was in the center of a sexual controversy and corruption that was going on. But children of God understand that the location of the island at the time, amen, is aware Arbor was and a lot of people were coming in to the different album and so because Paul was an apostle and he know how to plant church Paul said let us plant a church right there Amen. in the busy district everybody coming from different places they will have a place of worship can I talk to the church here somebody shout glory <laughs> and so only in a little while and so why it was, was the ideal location then amen Paul felt that it was necessary, amen, to plant a church there in the spreading of the gospel. I'm going to work in a little while because Titus, amen, he was trying to help Titus to rectify the growing problem with the Christian church. And Paul said, amen, that the first thing that he was to do was to appoint new leadership because Jewish leaders were corrupting the gospel by requiring non-Jewish Christians to be circumcised. Can I talk to the scholars in here? Yes, and according to Paul, they were not living as men transformed by the love of Jesus Christ. And so people who claim to be saved, amen, their lives did not match their conviction. It's going to get heavy to here. Amen, glory be to God. And the double life did undermine the gospel and left unbelievers reluctant in accepting the gospel of truth. So Paul said, I got to deal with this. Because because there was a double standard going on there was some problem happening here and I need to address the problem somebody said preach preacher Mm -hmm. And so then he instruct Titus to correct the hearsays and to rebuke the false teachers who profess that they know God in works but deny him. In other words, they have a form of godliness but they deny the power thereof. I feel like preaching through here. And so Paul had to encourage Titus to instruct the elders of the church to set an example for the young younger saints. He also asked them this one good. He asked Titus to teach servants to submit to their master. And Paul explained the way that disciples should go. The way that disciples should live and to prepare for the Lord's return. And I come by here to remind you that you got to prepare for the Lord's return because heaven is in view and we can't live how we want to live. We can't live how we want to live because heaven is in view somebody shout heaven is in view 
Mm -hmm. And so then children of God, Paul was telling them about the redemption that is brought to the blood of Jesus Christ. He teaches the church members to be good citizens and righteous followers of Jesus Christ through baptism that we may receive eternal life through the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. Can I preach on church? Amen. You can't be double minded in this season. And I came here from Canada to let you know that God is saying to the house that you can't be double minded in this season. Who is on the Lord's side? If you're on the Lord's side, let me hear you. It's either you're serving God or you're serving Baal. But who is on the Lord's side? I heard, I heard the Lord said, I tell the church that we got to go forward in the anointing. For heaven is in view. And behold, I come quickly and the reward is with me to give every man according to his work shall be. Can I preach on you here? High five your neighbor. Say neighbor. Say my good neighbor. Keep heaven in view. Come on I don't hear the church. Tell your neighbor neighbor. Keep heaven in view. In this new Pentecostal era that we're living in. Where men no longer endure sound doctrine. But move with every wind of doctrine that blow. And I come by here to tell you because there are some people talking in your ears and tell you that you don't have to do all of this. But I hear Brother Paul, Brother Paul, I'm coming to you. Brother Paul said to mark them that is contrary to the gospel that you've learned. And when you mark them, avoid them. Lord of mercy, can I preach in here? I come by to tell you that there are some people that you're going to avoid in this season. If you got to give them a hat, give them a hat. If you got to give them a shoes, give them a shoes. But you got to look at them and say, This is where we separate. I got to avoid you. Because two can't walk, let them agree. Give them a suit. Give them a bow tie. And say, May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord wash between me and thee while we absent one from the other. But I'm going up to yonder. Do I have a church in here? Do I have a warrior in here that said, I can't afford anything to stop me from getting to glory? Saudi is Saudi is Saudi is Hallelujah. And so then, children of God, I want to remind you that there is a blessed hope. Yes, there is. And there's a glorious appearance. And we cannot afford anything to hinder us or block you from being in the rapture. Can I talk to the church who here? Go forward in the anointing. You cannot allow anything to stop you from getting where Jesus is. I've catch enough hell down here. I've been lied upon enough. I've been castigated enough. I've been cheated on enough. Church folks talk about me enough. I've been hated on enough for me to catch hell right here and still go to hell down there. Can I talk to the church? Is there anybody here that make up in their mind that after all the hell I brought you, I'm not going to hell? Shall go. Hallelujah. And so then I come and I tell you that as you go forward in the anointing, you got to remember that righteousness exalts in a nation and sin is a reproach unto any people. I don't know why God is giving me this all week, this week. But sin, but sin, but sin, but sin, but sin, but sin is a reproach unto any people. Can I say it one more time? But sin. But sin, but sin, but sin, but sin, but sin. But sin is a reproach unto any people. This preacher ain't afraid to preach about sin. Sin is a reproach unto any people. Sin separates you from family. Sin separates you from God. Sin separates you from the church. Sin, sin, sin. We got a sin problem. Bishop, that is why when somebody backslides, they want to want to come by the church church no more because sin separate them from family oh lord i feel like preaching here somebody said preach glory be to god and the lord told me to remind you 
tonight again because just in case you weren't here last night he said to remind you that holiness unto God is still required he said to remind you tonight that holiness is still right that holiness is the way to go that holiness is still in style look at you not saying anything I say holiness is still in style holiness is still a trend holiness is still viral can I talk to the church I wish I had some holy role in here that's our holiness holiness and to God is our watchword and song without holiness no man shall see God jump up on your feet and shall holy Let the devil know uh, this is a holiness church. Uh, shall hold You may be seated. Paul said, brethren. I count on myself to have apprehended. But one thing I do, one thing I do, one thing I do. Forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to the things which are before me. I press, I press, I press towards the mark of the prize at the higher calling, which is in Christ Jesus. And then I hear a songwriter say, Then forward still is Jehovah's will. Do I have a witness in here? Do the pillows dust and spread? With a concrete trail, we will push ahead and roll and roll the sea away. Forgive who hurt you. Forgive who castigate against you. Forgive who criticize you. I found the neighbor say neighbor. I'm going forward. Say neck, come on, talk to your neighbor, man. Say neighbor, I'm going forward. Forgive who lie on you. We're going forward. Forgive who hurt you. We're going forward. Forgive who betrayed you. We're going forward. Forget who were trying to kill you. We're going forward, forward, still, it's Jehovah's will. We're going forward, so forward. There are many people in church that is assigned to you by the devil himself. To sniff you. Peter. Satan desire to have you. That he may sniff you as we. But you know what happened Bishop? There's a clause. But. I pray for you. Can you work with me tonight? High five your neighbor. I said it's not over yet. God have already prayed. Lord, I wish you get excited. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, it's not over. God have already prayed for you. Prayer has gone before you. Summer, tell me who can stand before me when I call and that great name. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, Christ has already prayed for me. I feel a Holy Ghost shifting here. Somebody, something just break off somebody in here. You've been crying some things for a long time, but something just break off you. Every burden, every sin, every weight. That's so easily we set you. Run this race with patience. We just set before you. Stand on your feet. Stand up, everybody. Just lay hands on the neighbor. I said, neighbor, forget it, forget it, forget it, forget it, forget it, forget it, forget it. Forget it. 
saw the praise in the house. I come to talk to somebody. Maybe see that. Somebody who is stuck. 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 The marriage is messing up because I'm stuck. Things aren't working out right in the home because I'm stuck. I am stuck in who hurt me. I'm stuck because my, I got pregnant at 16. And they told me I'll never be anything good. Stuck. 40, but you're still stuck. Stuck because of what happened at 13. I hear the Holy Ghost in them. <laughs> Shia. Stuck because of the molestation. Stuck because I can't tell anybody the truth. I'm praising God, but I'm stuck, Bishop. The reason why I'm acting like this is because I'm stuck in the things that I've gone through. I'm terrified to tell anybody. What really happened? You're stuck. It's affecting the home because you're stuck. Stuck. And your purpose cannot be fulfilled. You're stuck. Hiding and you're crying because you're stuck. Your husband don't know the pain that you're dealing with because you're stuck. Cut up. Can I walk in here in a prophetic anointing? I'm stuck and I can't get up. I'm falling and I can't get up. Somebody is crying for help. But help has arrived. I come to tell you that you cried your last tears yesterday. I wish I was in the right church. That the weeping may endure for the night. The Lord said to tell you that your joy has come. There's a deliverance power in this room. There's a deliverance power in this atmosphere. Be delivered. Be set free by the power of the Holy Ghost. Stuck. Stuck. I don't finish preaching. Eh? Come here, Reverend Jeremy. I don't finish preaching yet. Handa kete, Reverend so kete. Reba man so kuto. Lift up your hands. He kama man so. He kato si kata shato. Manti kete se. Rakato shakata tata. He mama ne kiti indi anto kata. Rakoto sata. I break it off you. Man de kitu rabo kuto. He kata sa. Break it off you. I wish I have a church here that will not follow protocol and praise him. I wish I have a church here that don't have to wait for me to tell you to praise him. Deliverance is in this room. Deliverance is in this room. He will bring you out. He will settle it. He cut us so he will bring it to pass. He will bring it to pass. He will not let the enemy laugh at you. He will bring it to pass. They will not laugh at you. He will bring you out. 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 I release you. I release you. I release you. Be released. Holy, 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 holy. 
Lord, we shall have a church in here. We baba baba take it to we cut our side. Man, take it to Sata. I think the glory in the house. Raka, he can't imagine. Every hurt, every hurt, every hurt, every pain. Tonight is your night of deliverance. Tonight is your night of coming out. Tonight is your night of independence. I hear the Lord say to sign the independence proclamation and to release in your spirit the spirit of freedom. Sato, Mako Samaketa, Riba, Baba, 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 Lord, I wish I have a church here. You better help me praise him. You better help me praise him. You better help me praise him. I feel a deliverance anointing in house. I feel a deliverance anointing. So glory. So glory. Finish the servant journey. Your deliverance is available. Lord, I wish I have a church here to jump up on your feet. I can't finish this, Reverend. Oh, no, 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 don't mind my tongue come on faith chapel you're waiting on me but I'm telling you the deliverance anointing is already here come on don't wait on me don't wait on me open up your mouth and say something don't wait on me faith chapel it's already here I hear the Holy Ghost said it's here it's right here right now open up your mouth and receive yours open up your mouth and receive yours your deliverance is right here right now experience the fire. I'm sorry I finished this another time. But I feel the Holy Ghost. Come and lay hands on your neighbor's shoulder. I said neighbor, experience the fire. Come and lay hands on them. Experience the fire. Fire is in the chapel. Fire! 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 Open up your mouth. Go ahead and release the praise. Go ahead and release it. Go ahead and release it. Let me hear your praise in faith chapel. is upon me. For you have anointed me to preach this gospel. Holy, 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 holy. 
I wish I had some help to cry holy. 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 Bishop, I can't finish this. Do you mind? I got, I got ways to go, but I got to stop here. I got to follow the Holy Ghost. I heard the Holy Ghost say, cancer is drying up. I have to stop here. <laughs> Can't I shine up? Can't I shine up? Wrong one, cancer. Shut up. You touch the wrong warrior. Marketa, I don't know who is here with cancer, but I hear the Holy Ghost say, Cancer is trying up. It's 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 trying up. Open up your mouth and give him a praise. Open up your mouth and give him a praise. Open up your mouth and give him a praise. Open up your mouth and give him a praise. Praise him because cancer just try up. Praise him because it try up. Praise him because it's out of the body. Praise him in here. Shout glory. to tell you about the anointing but I have to stop but there is a difference in operation between the Holy Ghost and the anointing the Holy Ghost will tell you that you're under attack from hell but the Holy Ghost don't fight the church gone quiet now I'm messing up your theology. Eh? The Holy Ghost don't fight. The Holy Ghost tell you about the battle. Because the Holy Ghost is the teacher. It's the guide. When you're in your bed sleeping. And something wake you up and you say, what is happening? The Holy Ghost wake you. And when the Holy Ghost bid you, the anointing step in. And the anointing destroy the yoke. That's why you need power. I keep telling church, we can't have church without anointing. You can't preach without anointing. You can't sing without the anointing. You can't run the aisles without anointing. The church is governed by the anointing and the auspices of the Holy Ghost. How can we have church without anointing? How can you preach and you don't have no power? You need power. The church operate under power. Can I talk to the host? Bishop, in the middle of the pandemic, a gentleman came to our church. And I'm going to leave you alone. When he came to our church, he said, I need prayer because I'm dealing with cancer in his kidney or one of the organs there. Are you hearing me, church? When the man came, they said, because of COVID protocols, we're going to leave him there and we're going to stretch our hands and we're going to believe the Lord because it's COVID. And we gather the officers and we're ready to stretch our hands towards him. And as I'm stretching my hands towards him, Reverend McGregor, I hear the Holy Ghost said, and you shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Bishop, I went to the man and I said, sir, there's a protocol in place. But if you don't mind, will you allow me to lay my hands on you? The Holy Ghost told me to lay hands. He said, yes, sir, go ahead. I told the ministers, I said, listen, lay hands on me. He gave me permission to lay hands on him. And we're going to believe God together. 
Can I tell you? Because in everywhere Jesus go, you're going to have the, the noctics and you're going to have the, the gossipers and you're going to have all of them, the unbelievers who choose protocol over the move of the Holy Ghost. Lord, y'all gonna miss. You're not, I know you're not going to invite me back. Lord of mercy. Hear me in here. We've been joining me after we lay hands on the man. And me and the elders, we pray. And we believe the man with God. And we curse cancer out of the man's body. When he went to do an operation, they say the cancer is not spreading. In fact, the cancer is no longer in the kidney. It's now in a little sack by itself. Don't tell me about my God. Y'all better help me praise him in here. Y'all better help me praise him. Cancer. For every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Cancer of God to bow. Bishop, the man came back to church a few months, skipping and dancing. Cancer free. No chemo, no radiation. I'm cancer free. It's not me who do it, it's Jesus do it. For if I shall be lifted up from the earth, you yes, say, if we lift up Jesus, Jesus will do the pulling in Your deliverance has come. Your time is now. I want every warrior, I'm going to leave this. Every warrior in here, it's the last night. Find a warrior that is not your friend. Not because you're sitting beside your friend. Don't hold your friend's hand. Find somebody else and hold both of their hands. You see this lady? I want to lay hands on you before you go, okay? Don't go unless you see me. Don't leave unless you see me. Everybody find one person. Musician, we're going to work. Everybody find one person. Don't hold on because he's your friend. Come on, Faith Chapel. You got to move quicker than that. Everybody find one person. I don't think you understand what is happening over here. You know? It's a Holy Ghost stick up. There is a release of deliverance in this atmosphere. Tonight is deliverance service night. Hold them with both hands. Find a warrior, mommy. Find somebody and hold on. With the exception of the musicians, I need everybody to find one person. Hold on to their hand. If you're sick and you can't, if, you, if your leg hurt and you can't, get up or something, find somebody, sit down, but make sure you hold them. Hold their hands. Hold their hands. Hold them both hands and you're looking in their face. And I want you to expect deliverance because expectation is the birthplace of miracles. Hey, my man, they get a rabbin so. Oh, my man, say, get a rabbin so. Koto. Iba baban, say, keto, shaban so. Koti. You are worried, I know, man. You are worried. Make sure you hold on to somebody that love Lord. I want you to squeeze some power in the hand that you're holding on to. The person you're holding on to brought your deliverance here tonight. Make sure you hold on to the hand. Squeeze some power in the hand. Don't let go of the hand until you feel power. Squeeze power. Let it out. Deliverance is in the mouth. Release the deliverance. Release it. 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 Fire 
is on the choir. Fire is in the pew. Fire is up here. Fire. 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 Shoulder, and just say fire. Raise your hand on the shoulder now. And just say fire. Say fire. 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 Let it out. Let it out. Open your mouth, somebody. Open your mouth, somebody. Open your mouth and open your mouth and release. Open your mouth and release. Release a praise. Release a shout. Release. I said release. 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 The angels are in this house. The angels are in this house. Salute Akatababasa. The angels. The angels are here. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, run to the altar. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, run to the altar. Come, come, come. Holy Ghost seekers, come. If you're not safe, come. If you need salvation, come. Come, 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 come. Those who don't have the Holy Ghost, come. Those who need that touch, come. Let the church clap their hands right now. Clap your hands, everybody. I said, clap your hands, everybody. They are coming, they are coming. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, come. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, come. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, come. If you need salvation, come. Yes, yes, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Young men are coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody say glory. Somebody say glory. Somebody say glory. If you need salvation, come. If you need healing, come. Mighty God, the angels are moving on the altar. The presence of God is on the altar. I only want the worshipers to push up a praise. I only want the worshipers to open their mouths. Come, come seekers, come, come. Come, come. When you come, get ready to receive something. When you come, start pray. If you can't pray, just say Jesus. If you can't pray, just say Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. If there's somebody beside you that you, 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 you're not sure of their standing, invite them to the altar. Yes, they are coming. Yes. Every unsaved come right now. I call forth every unsaved. Come, come. If you are a weak Christian, come. If you need prayer, come. Come, 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 come. God is dealing with somebody over this side in our church. Can the church clap their hands right now and give God a praise? Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh God, let the church say Pentecost. Let the church say Pentecost. Pentecost can be repeated. For the Lord is just the same. Yesterday, today, forever. Glory to his precious name. Pentecost can be repeated. For the Lord is just the same. Yesterday. Let the church say yesterday and today. Oh God Almighty, something is happening. Something is happening on the altar. Can the church release a glory? Can the church release a glory? Can the church release a glory? Hallelujah. Can the church release a glory? 
Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Put your hands together, somebody. Mighty God, God is moving on the altar. I say, God is moving on the altar. Oh, God is moving on the altar. Somebody say, Glory. Somebody say, Glory. It's gonna be all right, everybody. Hallelujah. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Somebody say thank you. Can you just clap your hands in the house, everybody? Just put those hands together. Hallelujah. Clap your hands in the house. Come on, church. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the book of God, so precious. Hey, we are told of Pentecost. How the blessed Lord is sad. Sing, everybody. Tell it for you. I don't hear the church. Oh, burning up the sin and draws, filling them with for service, making them a mighty. Falling, brother, let it. Pentecost and fire is falling. Praise the Lord. Oh. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Sing everybody. Pentecost and fire is falling. Praise the Lord, it fell on me. Pentecost and fire is falling. Loose. Loose, loose. Everything is gonna be all right. Oh, I've got a feeling that everything is gonna be all right. I've got a feeling that everything is gonna be all right. Be all right, be all right. Everybody, everybody say, I've got a feeling everything is gonna be all right. Everything is a liar. I've got a feeling everything. Everything is gonna be alright. Sing everybody. Be alright. Be alright. Be alright. Oh, I'm waiting down here by the river. Will you come, Lord Jesus? Sing church. Sing. Say it. I don't want me to wait. Today, do it again, Lord. Clap your hands, everybody. Do it, do it again, Lord. Do it again. Send a revival. Oh, many are longing. Oh, do it again, Lord. Send a revival. Oh, for the spirit. Do it again, Do it again. Oh, send some more Elijah to pray the power down. Send the fire. Also send the rain. 
Oh, to heal the sick, raise the dead and glorify I would like to hear Elijah pray. Clap your hands, everybody lay. Send some more Elijah to spread the power down. Sing church. Send the fire. Send the rain to heal the sick, raise the dead and glorify his name. Everybody say, Let some more Elijah to pray the power down. Let the fire on the send the rain. To heal the sick, pray the dead, and glorify his name. I will not be Elijah. Clap your hands, no. Clap your hands, everybody. Clap your hands, clap your hands. Come on, church. Clap your hands in the house. Yay! Somebody say glory, 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 glory. Oh, you got to move. One more time, you got to move. You got to move. You got to move, you got to move when God gets ready. Loose. One more time, everybody say, you got to move, you better move. You got to move. You got to move. You got to move. Deliver us. You may be rich, everybody say. You may be you may be rich. You may be poor. You may be high. You may be low. When God gets ready, you gotta move. Everybody say you got to move. You got to move. You got to move. You got to move. When God gets ready, one more time. You got to move. You got to move. You got to move. You got to move. When God gets ready, you may be rich. Everybody say you may be rich. You may be poor. You may be high. You got to move. You got to move. You got to move. You got to move. Clap your hands, everybody. Clap your hands in the rock. I'll hide, everybody. In the shadow, I will abide. When the storm. Loose them, Lord. Loose them, loose them, loose them. Loose, loose. In the rock, in the rock. Oh, yeah, in the shadow. When the storms of night are raging over me. Oh yeah, in the shadow, I will abide. When the storms of night are raging over me, in the rock, clap your hands, everybody. Oh, there was a time on earth when in the book of heaven, I know the court was standing, for sins yet unforgiven, my head. Went on to the keeper and settled in love. Down on my knees, I said to me, all, yes, the older punk was sent to. Hallelujah, for the rest was clear today, for he washed my sins away. And the older punk was sent to. Come on, one more time, love of God. I said to it all, yes, the old account was sent to Hallelujah, the rest was clear to me, for he washed my feet away And the old account was sent to Clap your hands, everybody! As I journey through the land, 
singing as I go. Pointing souls to Calvary, to the Prince of God. Many arrows pierce my soul. Katabashandai, all of us see Katabahandai. Everybody, oh, sing everybody. Sing everybody. We lose you, we lose you, we lose you over here, we lose you over here. Somebody shout hallelujah, we lose you, we lose you. Wow, clap your hands everybody. Oh, I want to see him. I don't hear the church. Your hands, everybody. Clap your hands in the house. Something is happening on the altar. Shout glory! Oh, I want to see. Just want some people to say hallelujah. I said yokes are being destroyed right now. We shift the movement on the earth. God Almighty, warriors, open up your mouth. Worshippers, open up your mouth. We shift the movement on the altar. We bind the spirit. Loose him right now, Holy Ghost. Loose that one. Yes, 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 yes. Somebody said Jesus. Somebody said Jesus. He touched me. Ah, he touched me. Let me hear. I know. Everybody is not joy. That floods my soul. It is happening. It is happening. It is happening. It is happening. Something. Everybody say, he touched me. We find the rebellion, we find the rebellion. Should it sit on our shadow? Echo, sire, and oh. Oh, 
Somebody say, fill my cup, fill my cup, fill my cup. Somebody say, fill my cup. Yes, yeah, she, she's broken, he's broken. Yes, yeah, she's broken. The hand of God is upon her. Woman, what you're feeling is conviction. Hallelujah, hallelujah. A woman at the well, I was seeking hey, glory for things that could not satisfy. Jesus, she came and 